Okay. Hi, Earth Signs. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back to my channel or visiting my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Let you know how these messages resonate. Don't forget to hit the bell as well. Okay, that way there you guys will get um, notifications anytime I upload on the channel. Okay, so I'm going to do a spread for the Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and they are going to be for the last two days uh, while we still have this Lion Gate open, and we're going to tap into some of that energy with the DF uh, and the D. M's and see what's going on but first what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull an overall message from spirit okay we're going to pull an overall energy message from spirit I'm going to use this deck it's a beautiful deck it's going to have a question um, from your gemstone and then it's going to have an affirmation and message from your angel okay spirit so what message whoa those come right out Okay, I don't usually only take one, but to come out, let's see, brown agate, agate, maybe it's pronounced, is your first stone, and it says, have you been spending time in nature? How does your garden grow? Whether you live in a small city apartment or an expansive farm, you can always find a way to establish your roots in the earth and nature. Use your na sorry, use your negative ions of the mountain, sea, or air for your overall well-being. It's beautiful. And the message from Archangel uh, Thuriel, Thuriel says, I am a caretaker of earth. I spend time in nature. My connection with fairies is strong. I am a good gardener. It is easy to open myself up and allow the light in. I unlock the secrets of my souls. Now this might be for somebody out there. Um, you can see the fairies up in the corner. No, that's an angel. Oh, I'm just taking it as a fairy though now. But yeah, if you aren't somebody that believes in fairies, then maybe you can do some research on that. Okay, green calcite. And it says, the question is, are you having a change of heart? Do you find that you're having a hard time changing the way you look at love and friendship? The only constant in life is change. Take the time to adjust <clears throat> sorry, adjust and nurture yourself as change takes place. Honor and accept changes. Archangel Raphael, I tap into the innate healing abilities within sorry, within order to realign my emotions, spiritual and physical body. Nature brings me balance. I enjoy and observe the positive green vibrations of plants, herbs, and essential oils. I remain focused even when the world around me is changing. Wow, these cards are really related. Um, you know, saying to really make sure that you're getting out into nature and connecting with Mother Earth. And um, that message through these two cards is definitely very strong. I find these cards to be very powerful and enlightening, and I just love them. Okay, so I am going to pull one more um, card from Spirit, and it's going to be what Spirit wants you to know right now. I'm going to use this beautiful deck. This is the Lightworker deck. And these messages are also very powerful and beautiful. Okay, so Spirit, um, what Spirit wants you to know? want our earth signs to know, please, Spirit, during this Lion's King 888, the last two days of the portal being open. Forest Virgo Capricorn, please. What message would you like the earth signs to know, please? Please, what 
messages do you have for our science during this time? Okay. Inner temple devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to read that out of the book just because these are new. You'll have to excuse me for looking because these cards are not numbered, so I do have to cut it. devoted student and tune into your heart to incorporate true devotion into your life you could be calling sorry you could be called to develop a regular meditation journaling or chanting practice or to show up to your soul with rhythm to de to develop a daily practice where you flip up sorry you fill up your well and spend time with your soul. All of the answers to all the questions that you are seeking are waiting and for the, in the portal of your heart. But you cannot hear them unless you carve out the time. Sorry, each day to listen. Your soul is earning for a deeper relationship with you. And so more time you spend with it and show up, the more clearly it will guide you. We are here to grow as souls. Earth is one big playground for the soul to learn. And you are being called to go deeper within your spiritual growth and <clears throat> into your soul to, or to increase your devotion by being a student of a lineage or a spiritual teacher. If you have already been a commu um, committed student, then you are being commended for your devotion. Your guides want you to know how proud, or, proud they are of you and that, that this time you spend in, a, in devotion is priceless. If you are questioning your career path or life, your guides want you to turn your focus toward devotion in this prayer. So this is the prayer you should say. Please use me in a way that delights my mind, body, and soul. May life be one big moving prayer. Wow. That, whew, that was like heavy in a good way. That was beautiful. And I do think that it is attached to you being in nature. I really do. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, so let's dive into your reading for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. I have shuffled all these cards um, already. And uh, let's dive in. Let's see what uh, the Divine Masculine has to say to the Divine Feminine, please. What is their current emotion? Sorry. What is Divine Masculine's current emotion? Okay, for these earth signs. So their current emotion right now is page of air, which is a new, it's a new start. It's a new beginning. It's a new path. It reads challenging information delays or change to plans. Truth is delivered without tactic. tactic. So I, I feel like there's a new beginning that's coming because of what message has come in. So their emotion is feeling like they've heard the truth. Yeah, 
their emotions towards you is that they know the truth. They know the truth. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm hearing. They know the truth. That's their emotions towards you right now. And clarifying that is the ten of air. Wow. Yeah. It's the end of a difficult situation because now they know the truth. They want you to know that. They're feeling like, you know, they know that there's been a lot of heartache. And I think that that is maybe even shared energy. And they want to say sorry. Yeah. They don't want to give up on this connection. Whatever this was, it's over. It's completion. It's done. There's no more swords in anybody's backs. The truth has been come, has been shown to them. Look at this card, actually. See all the animals around this page of swords. I feel like it's spirit. They're spirit animals. Their spirit animals have been communicating with them. Obviously, probably not here in the 3D, but within their dream realm or the 5D, maybe the Divine Feminine has been sending messages through the spirit realm, through their spirit animals. Maybe they're getting downloads. I'm kind of getting maybe they're getting downloads to know what this truth is. It might be something worldly and they've like they've gotten the truth and they see the truth, but it could be something intuitively with all these spirit animals around them. That's that's what I'm feeling. I feel like this ten of air, whatever it was, it hurt a lot, but it's over. And they don't want to give up on this relationship. I'm gonna leave those out. Those clarifying cards. So let's go ahead and let's see what the Divine Feminine's emotion currently is towards her Divine Masculine. Let's go ahead and clarify please for our Earth Sign Spirit. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn through this Lion's Gate. Two more days of this portal being open. Oh, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Whoa, okay. The last sign got this. These two. These two cards flew out, but they were on opposite sides, which was a water sign. So the current divine uh, feminine's energy, like emotions right now towards her divine masculine is celebrating this new beginning. I don't know if you guys are in in contact I, I don't see any evidence here yet that you are besides the fact that she is celebrating um, but I'm intuitively getting that maybe you aren't in in reunion yet and she just knows that this is coming in because she's very intuitive and spiritual and she's connected to her guides and her higher self okay um, yeah that's yeah, that's what I'm getting. It's time for a positive change. A, a situation finally is moving forward. She's seeing some movement here. Maybe she's got messages, or maybe through a friend she knows something, or it could be just literally her guides too, but she knows that there's going to be celebration coming in, or the two of you are already celebrating. Um, once I dive in a little bit more, I might know a bit better, but let's just see what else we have here. Okay, well, let's see what the intentions are. What are the Divine Masculine's intentions, please, Spirit, towards the Divine Feminine right now? What is their current intentions right now towards their Divine Virgo, 
Little Capricorn, please. Through this Lion's Gate, Open Portal. What is the Divine Feminine's intentions towards her? Emotions are here, Divine Feminine, and your intentions are, let's see, you want to make time for people around you, you want to make time for him, remember this is just energy, so when I say him, it's Divine Masculine, when I say she, it's Divine Feminine. However, um, you could be a male and have to, you know, be the DF in this particular read or vice versa. And each side can be flipped. So, yeah, I feel like um, the Divine Feminine is... She wants to make time for this Divine uh, Masculine... But she wants to be sensible about it. It's like she wants to be careful about it. Because it's been challenging in the past. You know, she wants to be understanding and kind with her intentions. But she does want to be careful. Ball. Yeah, like the Queen of Earth is a very thoughtful and warm person. She's going to come in. Her intentions are to come in sensibly, but with that warmness and thoughtfulness and even creativity. Like maybe she wants to whirl up some kind of. kind of fun, some kind of concoction I'm getting. Like, she's got this pot in the air and she's just like magically swirling it. Like, it shows me magic. Like, she's manifesting, but she's manifesting something to come towards him with. I may have to clarify that. But it came out with a five of pentacles. She's still having some fears about everything that's happened in the past. But she has been asking her guides for help. I'm going to clarify those two with the, the other deck here. Just see what's on the bottom. I'm being pulled to look at this bottom. Oh. Yeah, okay. She's being cautious. She, she's trying to come up with this last... Manif you know, she's manifesting something. And she's still a little worried um, what his intentions are going to be and what he's going to offer or not offer or accept. But at the end of the day, she knows that this is love. She knows that he is the Ace of Cups for her. And she's growing spiritually. I don't think that she doubts this connection and that's not what she's fearing. She's just wondering if this situation over here is done. Like whatever he was going through. Whatever this truth is. She doesn't... Yeah, I'm getting that you guys aren't... You guys aren't in contact. And if... If you are, it's not very much to know what's really going on because she doesn't know if he's gotten this message yet, this truth. So that's why she kind of, she still has her guard up, but it's only because it's the 3D world. Yeah, my ears are ringing. I'm, I'm getting the right message here. She, 
yeah, she knows what this is and she knows it'll come in fruition. Like, yeah, I feel like this is the connection. Like, she knows that this is going to happen in the 3D world. It is spiritually. It's lifted up in the sky. It's floating, you know. This worry is earthly, but she also knows that spiritually it's going to happen. So she's setting those intentions. Yeah, she's setting those intentions that she knows is going to happen. And she knows that she shouldn't be worrying. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from that. Okay. So let's see what his intentions are. I kind of jumped around my pattern here, but let's see what his intentions are towards um, the divine. divine masculine's intention here please for the earth signs Taurus Virgo Capricorn Taurus Virgo Capricorn please for this next couple okay ego card and then we got unity guides around him. Like I said, maybe that is that message. And it's if it hasn't come, it's coming soon for him. But like, it's like his intentions now are unity. Like to me, unity is coming together. The card reads traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organization, and seek out mentors and like-minded friends. I feel like he wants you to know that he's he's been looking for answers so he can come forward. A false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts is ego. In the rider deck, ego is the devil. But here, like, again, it's all about being guided. And I think that his intentions are that he knows he's been falsely entrapping himself, okay? And he has been too focused on the material world all this negative talk and fear-based thoughts. I think he realizes with this message that's coming in what this connection is. Um, and he wants unity. I think he's still looking for that help, though, is what I'm gathering with all these, with all this energy floating around him. He knows that this is different. This isn't just man, woman, and, you know, we're going to get married, have a family. He knows that there's a connection on a spiritual level, and he's trying to connect with each one of these, you know, spheres floating because he knows he needs to to be able to come into this union. That's how I'm feeling. I pull the energy as much as I can from the cards. I don't always just read these cards the way they're read. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck. Confirmation. 
he knows what this connection is. That's what this truth is coming in. Okay, you guys? This is, every single read has had a very similar feel-ish to it. And I think it's because, honestly, the Divine Feminine has been doing so much work to get the Divine Masculine to this place. And the Lion's Gate, they say, is when you're going to see a lot of twins uniting. And I feel that, I feel that in the energy. Um, that doesn't mean it's going to happen in the next couple days, but it just means like this whole awakening is happening for them. I believe a lot of the awakening, at least, is happening through this Lionsgate energy. Now, you have to remember that this energy started playing out way back in January. Um, creeping up into July was, like, quite powerful. But the Four of Wands... Yeah. Four of Wands. He knows what this is. And if he doesn't know already, because these are in his intentions, he wants to make sure he knows as much about this connection as he can, because now he knows the truth. He doesn't want to give up on you, right? So he wants to make sure he's prepared for this journey. He wants to build this with you. This is a strong foundation. He wants to get over the material world. Yeah. He wants to come in. Look at this. Events, events occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options and create creative solutions. This is a knight. He's fast. Fast speed. He wants to come in with his knowledge. I don't think that you guys are aware that he's aware yet. That's what I'm getting. I don't, I don't think you guys are in, in the union. I really don't. Um, you know, take it how it resonates, you guys. This is a collective read for um, Earth sign. So, you know, there's lots of you out there. But um, if I'm not your reader today, maybe I will be tomorrow. Um, and there are lots of great readers out there. But yeah, he's coming in. For the people I'm speaking to, he's coming in with his own truth that he's been shown. He's done with this heartache. He's done with whatever it was he was dealing with. And he's also done with his ego. He's done. Spirit is, is guiding him on a new path. This path. With all this spiritual enlightenment and downloads around him. That's what I'm getting. These are downloads from his spirit team. His spirit animals. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, so let's see, um, what would the DM like to tell his DM? What does the Divine Masculine want to tell his Divine Feminine, please, for these Earth signs? The Moon. Arcana could be a Pisces or a water sign for that matter. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, releasing fears that hold you back. I he's being enlightened that he has gifts. Maybe like you guys are in separation. And if this is the case, maybe he's not only just missing you like on a on an earthly way, like he's missing you spiritually, he's missing, yeah, he's missing your energy, but it's yet, yeah, it's like he can feel your energy, because I think that he's realizing that he's also gifted, and it does say here, look at this, <laughs> he wants to tell you that 
he's realizing what this is. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. This is a message from him to you. And I think that he wants to say, you know what? I've come into my own. And I already know you are in your own. Keep doing you because you look beautiful. It looks good on you. So if you have already activated your own spiritual journey, okay, you've already started on that path that maybe you're starting to share it with people, he sees you. That's what I'm getting. He might, he might not be talking to you, but he sees you. Like, you guys are on each other's social media. He definitely knows more about you than you know what's going on with him right now. That's his message. His message to you is that, and that your wish is going to come true. Your wish is coming true. He wants to tell you that. This is coming true. He's coming for you. He wants you to de defend your beliefs. I really feel like you're already on a spiritual journey. I really, really feel like you're already on this not only this journey, I think you've been on this journey for a very long time, like most of the Divine Feminines have been. But he sees you soaring. He wants you to stick to this. Because he, you know, this, we all know that spiritual gifts and spiritualities are hit and miss with certain people. Don't listen to those people. He's saying, defend, defend your, your beliefs. You know, stand your ground, stand in your own. He, this is the message he's trying to tell you right now, Divine Feminine. He loves you. He wants you to protect your heart against haters. He may not be coming in yet, but he's he's trying to protect you spiritually. Because he feels you. He wants to tell you, this is what I want. This is his message. I want this. I want the Ten of Pentacles. I want to provide for you. I want to love you. I want to build a home and a life and a family with you. I might not be there just yet. I might have not opened my mouth yet. I want you to know I'm here. If I'm not here in the 3D world, I'm here. Just know. I've gone through a huge, huge huge change I am planting our, the seeds I'm planting the seeds for us this is us I'm planting the seeds this will be no more there's going to be no conflict we're going to have a new start we're going to have abundance I can't even like brilliant new ideas are going to come to life. I'm going to leave them out because I only have one more uh, question with these cards. But that's his message to you. It's beautiful. There was a lot of messages. I asked for one card and the bottom of the deck just kept clarifying this beautiful message. <clears throat> Divine Feminines if he has not already communicated this to you, he's thinking it. He's not only thinking it, he's feeling it, and he's trying to communicate with you. Where's that car? Intuitively, like spiritually, psychic, like telepathically, like he's, he's trying to let you know to hang tight. Because, you know, he knows that you still have these fears, okay? And you're still trying to manifest, but he also knows you let it go. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So let's see what the Divine Feminine wants to tell her Divine Masculine. Let's see, sir, what does the Divine... <laughs> saying 
hurry up and get here. <laughs> How funny is that? How long have you been waiting, right? Some of you, it's been years. Some months. A lot of you have been in separation for a very long time. And you're saying, okay, I feel it, I feel it. But you're not here yet. You know, hurry up and get here. <laughs> and that's funny. It is funny. It's not funny, but it is funny. Yeah, oh my gosh. So we get basically two balance cards right out of the gate confirming. You know, she needs to see balance between this relationship. That's what she's telling him. In moderation. Maybe there's something that he's been doing in the past that wasn't within moderation. She wants to see equal give and take. She wants to see equal give and take. That's what she's saying to him. And she's saying, we're abundant. We have this. <coughs> if we can just make sure that there's moderation in certain things, we have this. She wants you to know, Divine Masculine. Honestly, it looks like she's good with money. Like she wants to know, wants you to know that she's gonna balance this all out financially. This is Pentacles. Give some of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan, or paying off debts. She wants you to know not to worry about this. Just get in. <laughs> Just come in and, and hurry up. We'll figure out all this stuff after. Don't feel... Okay, I'm getting like... I'm getting like she wants balance in certain things, but it doesn't have to be everything to come into union. She's a simple lady. Right? I'm going to get a couple clarifiers for these with the other deck. First, I'm going to clarify this chariot. Please, Spirit, for the divine coming in and the message that she has for her divine masculine. Please, the chariot. Please, the chariot, please. Okay, what's this chariot for my earth signs, please? Through this Leo season, 2019. What is this chariot, please? How, uh, her message, sorry. Just celebrate and just celebrate each other celebrate the connection like the Pentacles don't matter the money doesn't matter the love is what matters but it's like she wants you to know like she's holding the Pentacle patiently either this divine feminine makes good money or she knows how to make money. Or she feels when you guys come together, okay, and celebrate this union, that this is all going to come in fruition. This is the last thing to come in fruition. You guys need to come together first. Then it'll all start to make sense. What's this balance, please? What's this balance? wanted to show itself is the six of rods celebration I'm not going to take it because it didn't follow but it presented itself to me um, so let's see what this card 14 is please or the message to the uh, divine masculine please need for balance what's this balance and moderation all about is about the new start, having faith, a new 
start in, in um, cooperation and compromise. I just need another card, please, for this fool card and balance card, please. Huh. The Empress wants to show herself in judgment. Moderation. Yeah, okay. I see. So, Earth sign, she's trying to say, you know what? Don't worry about the money, we got it. Together we will build. You're a hard worker, she's savvy, whatever, whatever that looks like for you guys. But what I'm getting with this this devil card coming out on this balance card like I'm not taking like like this could be a Capricorn you're dealing with this is Capricorn's card maybe you're a Capricorn but that's not what I'm getting this balance and moderation and the need for it. She's trying to tell you everything needs to be in moderation. These habits and hang-ups that you have, they need to be no more before you do start to charge in. <sighs> That's the message. Okay, it's coming full circle. She wants to celebrate she wants to have equal give and take. She knows that you guys can create this together. She wants this new beginning. But this chariot, she wants you to come in. And she wants you to come in fast because she's been waiting. But she doesn't want you to come in unless this is dealt with. This balance is dealt with, okay? She wants you to be healthy and happy on your own before you come in. She can't make you happy, Divine Masculine. Even if you know what this connection is, and you, but she can't make you happy. A relationship with the Divine and the higher being and your higher self, that's her message to you. Get rid of these hang-ups and habits. And you can have everything that you've said to her. That's the message. I'm going to put these upside down. Like they didn't come out. And not because I'm not recognizing them. Because I'm going to say it's done. His troubles are over. The balance is coming. It's here. It's here. It's no longer here. It's here. Equal give and take. Balance. Healthy balance is here. This is no more and so it is. Okay? I'll leave those there. Wow, that was so powerful. Um, I'm not even done yet. <laughs> okay, so what I have is the, I'm not going to do the outcome and movement. I'm just going to do the outcome, okay? Because we had so many cards that flew out. Let's do the overall outcome. You know what? I'm going to use the other deck. I'm being told
come out like this. It doesn't really matter. I kind of just read the cards into it too. This card isn't a part of uh, this pile that came up. I want to set it beside it because it was sitting right here talking to me. So I took it. But okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. First two cards out were the Two of Cups, okay, and then the Two of Rods. This means to me right now in this read that you guys have the world by your hand. Okay, you, you have it in your hand, literally. This is you two coming together with your cups. You're divinely guided through this Leo season by the lion's gate. This portal is very strong for you two to come together. Whether it happens right now or later, the energy itself is bringing you closer in the next couple of days. Um, the lion's gate energy is working for you, even if you don't see it, okay? Because why? Remember, the Temperance card comes out again. Remember the one that I just flipped? I'll keep that double card flip. The balance that you want. You have it. It's the same card, you guys. This is the same card. The balance that you want him to come in with, he's coming in with. It calm, it, it's confirming it right here. You guys are gonna have that balance and that healthy balance that you need. He's not gonna be in his head anymore. This came out reversed. He sees that cup now. He's looking at things in a different <laughs> look, they're both upside down. He can see that cup clearly now. See that? He turns his head, look, there it is. He sees the cup. He sees the cup shoe. All these five cups, which I think we may have had at some point here. These are the spilt ones. He doesn't see those. He just sees the two. The two up here. Because there's two of you. That are creating this balance. Holding this world in your hands. You have it all. You're holding the pentacles. You're able to have anything you want. This is the page. This is a new start in money and in finance. He's gonna cross this finish line with a wand, with passion. And that passion is for you and that passion is for this relationship because you guys are gonna be celebrating because you're gonna have it all. Your reading is ending with the sun for this connection in your outcome. That is absolutely beautiful, you guys. Okay, I'm just going to pull a moon card, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull an affirmation card, and that will be your read. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it. Spirit, let's see what messages you have from the moon deck, please, through this Leo season. The open card portal for earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for the next two days. What do we have here, Spirit, for our first signs? Any messages from the moon deck, please? One preferred. Let's try the deck this way. Okay, Spirit, way too many. <laughs> One, please. in a read yesterday and this card is so beautiful and it's so fitting it's so fitting and it's asking you and your counterpart I believe this connection to surrender to the divine I feel that again this is divinely guided this is 
this is the full moon and there is a full moon coming in August and it's going to be the 13th after this lion's gate closes so maybe that date is going to mean something for you August 13th okay surrender to the divine now I'm going to pull just an affirmation card for you guys from the divine and that will be it okay what affirmations and messages do you have please for the earth signs Taurus Virgo Capricorn during the last two days of this landscape whoa too many spirits I just need one thank you one please you have one message for an affirmation for this on my inner light I see the world through the lens of love beautiful when I focus on my inner light I see the world through the lens of light or lens of love sorry yeah you keep focusing on your inner light and I think you will also see this relationship come together Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Oh my goodness, I love it. This is one of the main messages on my channel, okay? We can, for, we can manifest and make things come in fruition, but it should be for the higher good of everybody involved. And please, when you're setting your intentions, especially right now through a Leo uh, being so powerful with the portal gate open, please make sure that you're setting your intentions for the higher good for everybody involved. The worst thing to do is to manifest something that is not for your higher good or for somebody else's higher good. Because in the end, it's not good for anyone. When you're ending your... Um, when you're doing your intentions, end, to, end it as, if this is not going to serve me, please award me with something of equal value or something better, okay? Because then, like, yeah, like, the same or equal, then you know it's for the higher good, and you know that it's going to be blessed and divinely guided. Okay, we can't manifest for selfish reasons. The universe is going to give something to us based on our energy that we put out there and the action behind it. But it's when spirit steps in and says, hey, 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 this isn't for your higher good. So let's just shift. Okay? So please, please remember that. Okay. Virgo and Capricorn and Taurus. This was a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for sticking around so long. Don't forget to su subscribe, like, and comment. Don't forget to hit the bell. And please um, have a blessed evening. Much love, light, and laughter, and stay empowered.